Put that gun on the floor and kick it over. Harry, mate, we thought you were dead. Where have you been? Well, I have packed fruit. I joke up, every blonde was blonde. Yeah. Found the buns in the yard. Oh. Hovered the rocket boom, and it's it. He blacked out, woke up, everyone was gone, found mm -hmm. a gun in the yard, and then discovered the chocolate room, and that was it. You tell me where that chocolate room is right now, or I will kill you myself. I don't stomp under. He doesn't remember. You son of a bitch. But then who hit Harry on the back of the head? I'll be Bob. Bit me with a butt, and Bob leaves me groove out of replacement. His mum hit him on the back of the head with a pot and told him to move out of her basement. Yeah. You live in your mother's basement? Don't judge me. Don't judge me! OK, so someone in this room killed Rip, dragged him to the freezer, dumped the murder weapon in the front yard, shot Kurt Smith, and orchestrated the colossal chandelier trap? She's summarizing the female detective. She's given us a oh, summary of the night's true. events. My point is that perhaps it wasn't one person who committed the crimes. One person did commit all these crimes. It had to be more than one person. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just said that. I mean, think about it. How could one person have pulled all this off without an accomplice? Very interesting. Well, Lassie, what do you say we put Juliet's theory to the test? Thank you, Sean. <laughs> It was a rip who killed Melinda all those years ago. Apparently, Rip and I got into a huge brawl years ago over Melinda Lane. After all, she was toying with both Billy's heart and Harry's heart. She was a cancer to the band. Rip wouldn't allow it, and so he killed her. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Ow! And Rip's mind was such mush, he probably didn't even remember committing the murders. But then he started seeing a shriek, and all the lost members came back, including the murder of Melinda Lane. Riddled with guilt. He confessed to Billy what he had done. And after five years in prison for a murder you didn't commit, you snapped. And you picked up an ice pick. And you chased him throughout the house. <laughs> and you caught him. And you plunged the ice pick into his back, killing him. And then you almost threw up. But you didn't. And you bent down, and you grabbed his warm, thick, heavily tattooed arms. You began dragging his lifeless corpse. Dragged Rip's body through the kitchen and hid him in the freezer. But then I came strutting through the door, and you were stricken with panic. You had to get rid of the murder weapon. Indeed, to the port cashier. And so, you snuck into the yard to dispose of the ice pick where you saw Kurt Smith. What are you doing? <laughs> and you shot the legendary rock icon dead. He's, He's not, not dead. dead, you son of a bitch! But then, who tried to kill Billy with that big monstrous chandelier? You know, it's funny. I don't have any real clarity on that one, Burton. That's a lot of nonsense. Rip didn't kill nobody. He was in the room next to me all night, snoring his ass off. Which means I didn't kill Rip because he didn't kill Melinda, which means I was never in the yard dumping any murder weapon because I didn't murder anyone! Except for Melinda Lane. I guess I still murdered her. I'm sorry, sweetie. It looks like this multiple killer theory isn't holding much water at the moment. And you're right, Billy. So everyone get comfy. Because I'm going to tell you how the real killer pulled this off. Melinda Lane wasn't the real muse behind the band back in the day. The real muse 
makes the tastiest snacks this side of the Pecos, and also has a gift for whistling undeniably catchy melodies. Isn't that right, Clear B? You see, Billy Lips and the guys behind him have been stealing your tunes and cash for years. And all you have to show for it is a $25 watch? Linda kept taking all the credit with the press for being the inspiration behind all the band's hit songs. And one day, you looked in the mirror and said, Man, I'm done with these dab shafts. You snuck into the room Melinda was sleeping, and you smothered her good. That's crazy, man. Is it? Years later, Rip, after intensive psychotherapy, started filling in the blanks. He realized it was you who killed Melinda. Came here to confront you. You ice picked him. And we're looking for a better hiding place for your murder weapon. Kurt Smith, legend that he is, found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. May he rest in peace. He's not dead. Of course it was you, Cliff B, who loosened the screws on the ginormous chandelier, knowing full well that it was Billy's magic spot. And it was only a matter of time before it fell and crushed that pasty, thieving ass. Cliff B, say it isn't so. I only have one black friend. It's you. And I just don't have the time or resources to find a replacement. Hello, who are you? Fine. It was me. <laughs> Those cats have been stealing from me for years. Here's behind your back. Time to go to jail. Clip to be stealing them. Oh! Don't worry, Kurt. We're gonna be with you the whole way, mate. You're gonna be fine, Kurt. Just a flesh wound, baby. We're gonna do it in no time. Trooper, Kurt Smith sings with Kurt Smith. Ow! Oh, God! Ow! 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 Somebody should... Probably call animal control, right? Yes! Uh, great. Now, Gus and I are gonna go home and make love to our wives. We're not married, Sean. 